Great, so now that we understand what backlinks are, which are the most powerful type of backlinks, and how you can attract backlinks to your site at a high level, what we want to do in this section is actually get specific and look at specific strategies to attract backlinks to our site. And really the best way and the best place to start that whole process is look at what's already working and look at your competitors that are ranking on the first page of Google, understand their link portfolio and then really replicate that. At a minimum that's going to put you on equal footing with them and then if you implement some specific SEO campaigns it's going to put you right above them. So this is a really foundational exercise that you're going to go through. I think it's going to really help you understand how they're getting these backlinks and then that's going to give you a ton of ideas in terms of how you can replicate them and even build on them. Great, so the first step in this process is really to get the top 10 search results for your particular keywords. So this really goes back to our keyword research part of the course and you will have selected the keyword that you want to target based on the criteria we discussed there. So let's just imagine that it was drones was the keyword that I picked and <clears throat> what we can see here is the Moz bar that gives us information on the on-page optimization which we looked at before, P domain authority and page authority. Now what we really want to look at is using the same tool, look at the backlinks profile. So you can see for this site ranking number one, it's got 4,000 560 links. Number two, we've got 263 links, 827 links, 255. Um, so you can see that there's a huge amount of links here for the top 10 results. That's great because it gives us uh, a huge amount of opportunity there in, in terms of um, replicating those links. So now that we've got the top 10 results, what we want to really do now is get all the backlinks. So on the Moz bar, what we can just do is click on this links button here and it's going to open up uh, a tool called Open Site Explorer, which again is a tool made by Moz. And this is really fantastic because it gives you an almost complete overview of all the sites that are linking to that web page. So as you can see, there is a total of uh, 4,560 links coming from 1,000 374 different domains. So as you can see there's a pretty long list of links here and you can even go out and out and out and see the uh, huge amount of links. So let's just have a, the, a look at the first one on the list here um, and if you can remember what's also important to determine is uh, the page authority and the domain authority of the page that's linking back to the site because it's authority sites that have higher page and domain authority that are really going to give a lot of power to the links. So this is a fantastic link right here. It comes from Time Magazine, hugely authoritative site. And uh, let's just have a, the, a look at the actual link here to get a sense of uh, what it is. So as we can see, it's uh, within the content itself which is fantastic reference as a sort of citation as we've seen before um, and it is a follow link because we're using our little uh, no follow tool and it's as normal so this is really fantastic and I think you, this gives you a sense of maybe what's possible in terms of your link building campaigns great so another back link checking tool we can use is called Ahrefs and essentially this could give us um, insight to other links because each of these tools individually scan the internet to try and find the links to the site so it's good to check a couple of different ones um, and just get a sense of all the links plus all of these tools give slightly different perspectives in terms of additional information they offer some charts here on HHRFs are very good so it's good to have a look at them all and get a couple of different perspectives. Let's just click into links then for this side and so you can see that there is a, a list of links here as well. 
they don't give you as many unless you, you sign up, but it can be good, especially in terms of some of the more visuals. Uh, this can be a very good tool. Great, so the third and final backlink checker tool that I want us to have a look at is called Majestic SEO. So again, you can use this for free. Um, and all you need to do is again, paste in the URL and we're going to get a big list of backlinks as well. Again, some other information, quite a good presentation about anchor text. If you remember, it's important that there's a good distribution in terms of the anchor text that points back to your site in order for it to look natural. We can click on backlinks here. Oh, they're asking me for a register for a free account, but I won't do it now, but they do have quite a good list of uh, backlinks as well, plus some other additional information. That, so that was really step two, finding all the backlinks. Now step three is really creating a list of all those backlinks. Great, so now that you've got the backlinks, what you really want to do is start analyzing them and really, well firstly actually what you want to do is maybe copy all the links into an Excel, as many as you can, then you want to start analyzing them and really the best way to do that is click through to the links and you can use you know the Moz bar tool to determine the authority, if they're follow no follow links etc using the no follow Chrome extension and generally getting a sense of how difficult would it be to replicate something like that. So something like the Martha Stewart thing, fantastic idea, but obviously that takes a lot more planning and strategy, whereas other types of links from maybe guest blogs, um, slide shares, things like that, they can be done quicker. So the rest of the process then really is to make a list, analyze, and then start replicating those links. So I think this process is just fantastic for kicking off the whole brainstorming and even getting some easy links and then really planning your six months out in terms of your SEO campaigns.